In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a bright and realistic sun. We need to start with a sphere, so delete this default cube and add one UV sphere. Then scale it down by 0.15. We need to use an emission shader for this sphere. So go to the materials tab and create a new material and change the shader type to emission. You can also change the color if you want, but at the end, this will not matter much. Now increase the strength to 3. Then, switch over to the rendered view mode. Go to the world tab, and change the environment color from the default gray to complete black. Let us also turn off the overlay. The sun is neither bright, nor realistic. So we need to make more adjustments to it. First, go to the render tab here, and turn on the bloom effect. We can see a nice glow around the sun. We need to do rest of the work in the compositor. So open the compositor. Let us close this section. Select this Use Nodes option. We get these two default nodes. Let us mode them aside and make rooms for the other nodes that we will now add here. The first node to add is a blur node. Place it after the render layer and change the blur type to Fast Gaussian. For the X and Y values, enter 60. For both. And change the size to 3. Then connect the render layer to this node. Select this node again and press Shift-D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Change the X and Y values to 80. And change the size to 1. Once again press Shift-D to duplicate this node. This time enter 150 for the X and Y values. And change the size to 5. Then connect the render layer to these two blur nodes that we have just created. We are done with the blur. Now go to the add menu and add one glare node. Change the glare type to fog glow. Select low in the quality drop down. Change the threshold to zero and size to nine. Then connect the first blur node to this node. After that, duplicate this glare node once. Change the quality to medium and size to eight. Then connect the second blur node to this one. Again duplicate this glare node, and change the quality to high. Change the size to 6, and connect the third blur node to this node. Now, we have to connect these two glare nodes. For that, go to the Add menu, then Converter, then add a math node of add type. Bring the two glare nodes to its input side. Then duplicate this add node, and connect the previous add node, and the third glare node to its input. Finally, connect its output to the composite node. Let us then go back to 3D viewport. We cannot see any change yet. We have to render the final output in order to see the result. You can also hit F12 instead of going through the menu. So, here is our bright sun, or any sun-like object in the backdrop of black sky. There is a dramatic change in its look. Let me show you one more thing. Go to the World tab, and change the environment light slightly up. Just a little bit. Then, hit F12 to render the output again. What we get is a cloudy sky. The sun is visible through the sky covered with thick clouds. You can use this if your scene has such a requirement. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.